गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अगेन निरंजन वेबनार द आइडिया ऑफ दिस वेबनार इज टू मेक पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट राइटिंग सी देर इज नथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड बींग डन विदाउट राइटिंग especially the high tech equipment in medical healthcare industry unless otherwise you are trying nobody will allow you to touch it or service it or repair it you know, or upgrade it now most of the industries are facing a big problem you know whether we have people trying to people so that we can uh, take care of the copies in terms of application in terms of service the basic issue is in india none of the medical equipments are being manufactured there are very few being manufactured the china has really taken over in a big way A lot of things are being manufactured. Maybe whether they are the quality or not, that is the second subject. But the awareness of medical equipment manufacturing has gone up very highly in countries like China. Whereas in India, we are still seen as a service provider. It is a big surprise uh in any of the biomedical engineering uh, diploma or degree people if they come to know it be a big surprise for them the point is uh, a medical equipment industry jain philips and ge they have their innovation campus in india you will be surprised to know if they are having a in bangalore it is a matter of just what are kilometer difference in bangalore they have both Philips also have a huge innovation center, and G also has a huge innovation center. And most of them, they work are all Indians or maybe some kind of people from abroad also. But the point is, again, we have been used for the innovation, but ultimately the product manufacturing will not happen in India. It happens somewhere else, and it, it gets into the market where we cannot. Understand the you know inner part or unless otherwise you want to go there. You'll be surprised an industry like ultrasound, you know, which I am from. We are doing close to thousand two fifty crore. An ultrasound alone can take thousand more than fifty crore in India. You can understand what will be the total medical equipment. Well, you can just Google it and find out. It's a very big number. People talk about you now. People talk about you know we should give very good healthcare to people. You know we should give we should immediately attend. We should do. It. See, all these things are ultimately depend on the equipment only. Accordingly, unless otherwise these equipments are perfectly in working condition, then only we can give good service to human public. If you don't have machine which is not in working condition, see for an example, for an example, you are having a patient who needs to be defibrillated. Fibrillation is required. Your defibrillator doesn't work. What is the use of having a machine or investing in money? But if you have a person who tests that defibrillator and keep it ready, sir, the defibrillator today it works. You know, there is a classic example if you come across in India, WHO. You can Google it and see it. And uh, United Nations, they joined together and they came out with the proposal to India. All these medical equipments have to be, you know, should be in a working condition. Then only we can give a good healthcare. And preferably, these equipments should be given an annual maintenance contract to the outsourcing company, something like that. So everybody has come out. In fact, Tamil Nadu is the first uh, state to implement. They had uh, started a Tamil Nadu medical equipment services. You know, it's a uh, partnership from uh, the state and central government, and as well as Kerala also started. Everybody started. But ultimately, giving a tender to equipment and servicing them, you know, these are all taking a lot of time. The simple reason is, 
Still, we don't have people who can sell these equipment uh, across the country. Even the industries, what they do is they select people and you know, somehow you know something about the equipment, that particular field. They select and they keep training them maybe for six months or one year, depending on uh, the person caliber capacity. And they try to do a trial and error. So sometimes it will be very successful, sometimes it will be may not be successful. The reason for this webinar is, uh, you know, uh, it's a quite long time I've been thinking to tell students, whoever comes out or whoever is undergoing biomedical engineering or medical economics, they should equip themselves on equipment front. For an example, if you go through, uh, 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 if you Google it in UK, how this training is being done? Or if you see it in US, how medical equipment is being done? You can understand. It's very simple. So there are institutions that are there which will give training on particular product, whether it is endoscopy or uh, MR or CT or these kind of stuff. In fact, I have taken this with the government of India some time back uh, when they formed this uh, healthcare uh, skill development skill council. The healthcare skill council also seen in terms of you know hospital, not on an equipment base. Maybe this time we have introduced, we are planning to introduce some courses. Let's see what happens. But uh, see, always I see government of India, you know, somebody somewhere, you know, some person will do some good work. Uh, it is, they have already created a, a program sometime in 1973, a program called Apprentice Program, which you can Google that see. Now they are very particular to do that in the through National Apprenticeship Training The point is, it is there, only thing is how you have to make use of but that is very particular that unless you can complete the course, you cannot undergo a training program. But in uh, Europe countries, they think in a different way. Even when you are undergoing the course, you do, can do the apprentice uh, program. If I remember right, Department of Technical Education, Tamil Nadu, has come out with the idea of, uh, you know, sandwich courses, where the person will undergo industrial experience and course along with that. See, the problem with the, uh, the board is, the central board is, they say that unless you complete the course, you cannot undergo a program, training program. So basically, this apprenticeship program is where you get a cipher also. Maybe a small amount, but still you get a cipher. Which we are planning to do it. Let's pray God that we can do in a better way, where we can train both the people. You may ask, uh, why? What is the, you know, to, uh, we will give you some kind of uh, idea if you can go through our slide. You know, what is the career in medical equipment industry? According to me, uh, IT person, whatever he gets money, in the same day, people may make more money than those fellows in medical equipment industry. The reason is, there, you are working for somebody outside the country, here you work for somebody inside the country. The kind of equipment, you know, the kind of budget put for equipment in any corporate or any hospital is very huge. A company like GE or Philips or Siemens or you know, we call it a GPS, GE Philips Siemens, this GPS, they were, they, are, they were ruling and they are ruling the country. The numbers they do work is very huge. So, medical equipment industry, you see it as a whole, it has a lot of departments, you know, a lot of equipment. We will go through it in our uh, future slides. But one thing is whether what kind of liking you have when you do your syllabus. You may be very good at uh, linear algebra. In medical equipment industry, linear algebra is very uh, important for a person who is into imaging. You need to find out your skill or maybe your advantage or other things and find a field and start working on it. That is very, very important. 
working on it in a sense. Okay? You're trying and understand what is happening in that field, which are the companies, what is the requirement. You'll be surprised recently, well, for the past uh, eight, nine years, what? Covidian, a company called Covidian, is doing a fantastic work in India. A lot of research is going on. They understood that the manpower is very, you know, uh, it's available at very economical in India. So they are doing it in a big way. A lot of people have joined Covidian also. For a medical, a biomedical or medical electronic student, first of all, what he should do is he should know what are the departments are there, what are the equipment are there. We'll just brush up something so that it is much easy for you to understand how big the medical equipment is. So the carrier prospect, if you see, there are plenty of companies are there. You can see, you know, uh, uh, the maximum employment in the US, biomedical engineers. And it, it, it grows in a big way, not a 13%, nowadays it is 27%. Uh, uh, you can, and one more thing is, you know, biomedical engineers, I see them, a lot of women are there. But they can also do understand what to work in uh, biomedical engineering, in the application field especially. So this is something like, you know, where you are getting into monitoring, therapy, diagnosis. Uh, this has a all kind of work. It is not that only you uh, service the machine. You, know? you have an application, you have a refurbishment, you have a survey, you know, parts handling, you know, everything. That's all the uh, modalities in biomedical engineering. So medical imaging is a costly affair uh, uh, in this field. Uh, you know very well MR and CT, uh, it, it, you know, it's so costly, you know. Uh, it runs to big, big numbers. Medical imaging, one of the uh, uh, most expensive, maybe now this therapy is taking over, but even then, medical imaging is still there. Uh, you have, uh, if, for example, if you just see your uh, imaging side, the companies like, you know, Toshiba, Japanese companies, European Esote, Chinese, Sonoske, you know, uh, uh, Itachi, Jupuda, Mindre, Honkong, you know, Siemens, Village, you know, you can find uh, these, these so many companies in many fields. So let's go ahead. Let's let's think of you know every department. You know, let's see the uh, since I am from uh, uh, imaging side. Let's go with the radiology first. So radiology, you are having an ultrasound machine uh, where we call it as a color doctor, black and white, portable volume uh, uh, 4D machine. We have X-ray. We have uh, you know. Uh, now the converse media concept have come up in a big way. You have echocardiography machine, you have CT, you have you know MRI, you have NMR, magnetic uh, uh, nuclear magnetic resonance, you have uh, uh, functional magnetic fMRI, uh, you have now recent concept uh, PET scan, you, know? uh, you have linear accelerator, spec scan, you have you know, intervention radiology is going up in a big way. You have therapy, branch therapy. You have uh, mammogram, digital mammogram has come now. You have a uh, bunch of machines. You see in neurology. Uh, uh, you have, uh, you know, uh, lithotripsy. You have, you know, a cystoscopy, accelerator. Uh, you know, again, scan is possible here. Uh, again, digital mammogram is possible here. You have pediatrics you get in. You have so many things. You have uh, cardiorespiratory monitors, pulse oximeter, you know, monitoring, patient monitoring type. You have uh, even ECG machine used in pediatrics. You, know. you have uh, nephrology. You have uh, uh, you know, uh, lot of microscopes are being used. You have uh, uh, gynecology, fetal monitors, OB gynec. You know, again, ultrasound comes, endoscopy comes here. You know, surgical equipment, you have battery units, you know, operation data to use, you have heavy uh, uh, autoclave, centrifugal, you know, vital cell, vital cell monitors, anesthesia monitors, anesthesia machines and monitors. Yeah, you have EAT, you have plenty of small, small devices, you know, which you cannot uh, you know, uh, make it just like that. You know, there are small, small things are there. Uh, EAT is a very huge medical device, plenty of, uh, you know, Minute uh, things are used in EMT process. Then you come to 
uh, 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 student, if you want anything of this uh, presentation, you can just mail me. Definitely, and we can share it. There is absolutely no problem. Uh, and all these things, unless where you have a continuous, you know. Uh, even I suggest people also completed in second year and third year, no? so they can start during their internship. Even our, in our organization also people come for the internship. Come with a specific goal and start working on it. Learn the product, learn, you know, get trying. That is very important. Uh, when you go to an hospital, what happens is you come to know so many things, but you will not know anything about particular products. So rather, you can get into a medical equipment industry where we are, uh, we are into one particular line of action. That line can be, you know, you can become a master of that. Uh, the, the problem is if you get into an hospital, you come to know about, you know, namesake, uh, uh, and ultimately when they have a problem, you tend to call the customer, the, the manufacturer or the supplier. You know, you may not go, you may not have a big role in, you know, repairing the system or in something like a contact to contact. So I may not suggest people to get into uh, hospital industries, preferably in the initial stage. You know, if you want, you, 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 let me tell you honestly, it is something like a BBU. You cannot make more money. You cannot, in, uh, you cannot make more, uh, you know, get remuneration when you are in a hospital uh, kind of, you buy things and you know, maintain. That is, you should be in the industry. If you are in the industry, it will take you in a big way. Uh, if you see that, uh, uh, Currently, uh, we have taken a very big uh, uh, step to uh, try and people. You know, we are already running a program called uh, Diploma in uh, Medical uh, Ultrasound Service uh, with the National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology and our government of India. We have done four sets now, four batches. Now we are running for one more batch this year. And other than that, we are having a one-year apprenticeship program where we, this time we would like to bring all the medical equipment so that people will get an idea. The idea is to the people who are manufacturing, who are supplying in India, they will come with those equipment and try new people. Believe me, this is the first time in India. This, and uh, ultimately, this is going to be a useful for you people. Uh, we, 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 we want to do including surgical equipment. See, we are thinking all the ways, like surgical, even to the devices, even the stethoscope should be, you know, we would like to find how to open it as close. So we have we have, we have connected some around 20, 25 companies who will come and, uh, in fact, Fluke is also willing to come and undergo a training program for them, how for the test and machine instruments, the radio meter and commercial and I talked to them, they are also willing to come for a quality assurance of material. So, uh, this is one of the things which uh, I would like, I was planning to do quite a long time, uh, maybe from uh, uh, in my early days, but uh, uh, the day has come now. And we are in the process of selecting people. Government of India has given a, you know, 20 people to join them. One year is a long time, but even then, we would like to see that the campus interview happens. You know, the, the interview happens in, uh, in, a, in a every quarter, so that people get employed and it becomes a rolling concept. That we can get more and more people and train them. That's an idea. Uh, see, most of the people will say, you know, sir, I am well equipped. I know how to, so, you know, I know electronics, I know I can very well do the service. See, the problem in medical equipment industry is, it is not that, uh, you know, for example, if there is a radio in here, it's having a problem, you are uh, repairing the radio. When you are repairing the radio, you know it sings, you know, there is a uh, news happens, you know, you repair it and you feel that, uh, you know, song, uh, you understand that your radio works. But in medical equipment, it is different. For example, you are servicing a uh, ultrasound machine. After service, you are seeing an image. According to you, the image is alright. But the doctor only has to certify whether it is giving a proper image. You got my point? Unless otherwise you are trying an application, how to see a kidney, then only you can tell that okay, the machine shows a proper image. And customer mind that satisfies you. This is what I'm talking about. Biomedical equipment industry is something like, you know, you are servicing an equipment for a profession. So, you should know what is in the call. I still remember somebody was telling me, well, so the color persistence of an uh, you know, ultrasound image is less. I know the word called persistence, but what kind of a persistence is talking about on an image? Nobody knows. 
unless otherwise when i started my industry in uh, 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 late, uh, late uh, 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 80s understanding the customer first and the problem is you know that itself will be tough after the repair information so biomedical equipment is right, because the application is different the customer uses the machine for different application to his choice so unless otherwise you know you know what is his choice or what is his satisfaction then you will understand so training is of each and equipment the training is what we are talking about what why how you know what way it is useful why it is being designed how it is being used you know where it has been used when has to be used you know. uh just for an example we will take a deep you know there is a company called defi they are the number one in the world photo defibrillators defi d i f i this defi uh, uh, you know they have they wanted to come out with the you know very uh, minute very uh, uh, simple defibrillator and you would have seen in the airport railway station this defi uh, uh, when i met that international manager sales manager of uh, defi he told me uh, our idea their idea is to take the defibrillator anywhere in the world it is something like you are in chennai you are having a person in uh, uh, virupur where the defibrillation is required he will have one you know small aircraft kind of a thing he will send the defi through that aircraft to that person through the gps so the technology is not like anything but even then the defibrillator goes there the doctor you say he doesn't know how to like doesn't it doesn't work when you are out he is out the manufacturer also out the user also but if there is a biomedical engineer who can select the thing and switch on and keep it ready and for the shoot it's fantastic so this is what i'm talking about application whether it is in the working then you should know about what is defi how this regulation defibrillation happens what is the peak what, what is the apex what is the sternum whether it is the cable is connected see ultimately this biomedical engineering i'm telling you it is a fantastic field unless otherwise we use it properly see in india right now most of the equipment biomedical equipments are you are serviced by highly unqualified pros to be very honest with you because the biomedical uh, 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 engineering students you know i see them they have a very big future provided they understand what is possible by them for an example somebody wanted to get trying uh, a diploma holder i called me one day and then uh, sir i want to get trying by the what you i said fantastic what you can immediately i found one of company in uh, delhi who uh, supplies ot types you know not chinese product i think they are having some europe company uh, modular kind of ot uh, setup so you need only that fellow said okay you can send him uh, he went for a trial program Uh, week or uh, two weeks, and uh, after that, uh, he got he joined the same organization. They took him for a terminal uh, operation. And after the fifty days, uh, he is not. Uh, you know, I saw him casually. I mean, like uh, through net, I saw him somewhere. You know, I asked him how the job is. He said, "I am not no more with them." I was surprised. I asked him what happened. He said, "I said my body doesn't allow me to work in uh, uh, operation theaters inside operation." Then finally, when they answered, uh, you know, Dr. Kumar, I asked him, "Sir, what happened?" He said, "He is not, uh, you know, for in operation theater they put that lot of chemicals, you know, for the tablets, all this stuff. You know, he is fighting with that skin issues. See what have what happened to him? You know, that the, the, the uh, training was also went wrong. Well, uh, even though he has a knowledge of uh, what equipment, he is not able to use it. So first of all, we should know whether we are capable of." getting into that field that is very important whether you are yeah. for an example uh, somebody says you know i sweat in surgery you cannot be a surgeon somebody says a pediatrician says i will look for only laughing kids that is not possible he has to have you know try kids so the idea is unless otherwise you know each and every department of medical equipment industry And which will affect you? See, even please believe me, it is not only equipment. You should see the other side also. Whether you are fit to be a salesman of the medical equipment. Sales is something like you know, it's a manual task right now. Whether you are capable of service, whether you are capable of installation, 
whether you are capable of application, whether you are capable of maintenance contracts, that is relative maintenance contracts, all these things is not only knowing about the machine. This is something like you know, you want to become an MLA or MP, you know, how the process happens, say they you know, you should know how you know MA and MA and MLA sits in state and MP sits in state. But you should know how they have been made. You know, something like the telecom industry is, you know, Europe is very strong in certain fields, you know, uh, Americans are very strong in certain fields, Japanese are very, very strong in certain fields. We should know which one to select, who is doing it. See, I'll tell you, the e commerce is really playing a very big role in the world. The day will come, all the representatives of the companies will not be there in any of the country. Only the, you know, they may have some demo uh, uh, room or demo schedule. They will. Uh, I see a real uh, you know, threat to the sales people of the medical equipment industry. It will be more of you know the after sales people, you know, installation, service, application. You know, those people will get a better employment. Uh, uh, keeping a sales guy for a long time in this field, it's not you know uh, viable. He cannot be a performer all the time. So this the other field, other side of uh, you know service application, you know, that has a very big future. So biomedical, uh, for, for, I, I recommend to diploma holders, degree holders, you know, of uh, 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 to get trained. So you may ask how this training is happening uh, in other countries. For example, uh, if you want to know anything about a particular machine, I always tell people that you can. One is uh, in this uh, internet world, you can definitely understand, uh, you know, any product. There may be some videos or there may be some uh, demos. You know, all those things can be made nicely. But only touch and feel is a big factor. I'll tell you my story. You will be surprised. When my sister was scanned by an ultrasound machine, you know, I was really surprised to see the blood flow. It was the HP. Uh, uh, I think if I remember right, it was level one double zero machine, third of the uh, sixth floor of uh, cardiology department in uh, Chennai, MMC. I was really surprised. I was studying, I think seventh or eighth standard. I was surprised to see that oh, it shows the Vinakava flows. You know, uh, there is a hole in the Vinakava, and uh, the water is being pumped out in a different fashion, and doctor was showing it. I was thrilled. I immediately, uh, since my father was in medical service, so I was able to see the machine inside the scanning machine, uh, sorry, inside the scanning room. Uh, I asked the doctor, I think my doctor said, well, I was there that time. I asked him, so he said, uh, now I asked him whether I should become a doctor or a uh, you know, uh, technologist. He said, yeah, if you become a doctor, even then you have to use this machine, better you become a technologist. I was, that is the time I desired my mind, I should become an ultrasound technologist, an ultrasound, I should get it out of the Even I got a job in some other field, I didn't join because I was very particular that I should get it out of the Because it fascinated, there was a fantasy or something like that, okay, I get really fascinated by the uh, you know, technology, ultrasound. Believe me, whenever I see somebody physically handicapped, uh, you know, I really think, you know, it has ultrasound is still, it has not reached the effort. Uh, the technology is so good. So, same way, every medical equipment has something fantastic. You, know? you think of uh, therapy machine, linear accelerator, all now. What a wonderful product. Even though you see that patient is uh, uh, undergoing a big trauma, but even then, the kind of you know technology in the machine is something phenomenal. Believe me, government of India is seriously thinking on this. Service, unless somebody will open their eyes. You know, like you have uh, textile technology, you have, you have, you have come across, there are issues, uh, you know, plasma research, there is an issue for gastro and all like that. You know? There is a very big scope for ultrasound also, something like, you know, Institute of Ultrasound uh, Technology, something like that, maybe on the education side as well as on the research side. Uh, you may be knowing we are doing a project uh, uh, designing an ultrasound machine uh, with the uh, government of India uh, under the uh, National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology. We have the is already there and we are building a machine. When we went there also they were asking us how many research centers are there in India you know, by government. It is very few. There is one research center in 
we have uh, zero weeks on the second and target and then one there is no very very less please understand so, you know, unless otherwise people have uh, you know create a value in the market automatically government also will start putting their effort in research lab in fact my dream to have an ultra sub research lab in, uh, in calicut at the government of india which i will definitely do it uh, i am moving my papers so that you know PG level or in uh, even in UG level or in PhD level we can think. In fact, uh, the ultrasound development, what we are doing it in uh, Nijek, it is something similar to that. We have called a lot of eminent people to do a sub-projects. So that now it will be in a big way. Will be, uh, recently I have been to Taiwan where I understood, you know, uh, I, uh, in my life, you know, 25 years I spent in ultrasound, you know, somebody who has many, somebody is manufacturing in ultrasound probe, I will not believe. Some company is manufacturing, I may believe. So, whereas the recent day I went to uh, Taiwan, where I saw uh, a person who had spent uh, 29 years in ultrasound, um, uh, a trust user, not ultrasound, ultrasound trust user, and he developed his own trust user, and he is selling it across the world. That's a classic example. He would have spent some, uh, according to me, some uh, 5 6 crores which we can also do it, well, uh, government also can do it, even the uh, individual company, but we, are, we don't do it. The problem is the, the quality which we are talking about. If I remember, uh, uh, there was a company called Simons and Wheel, uh, where they were manufacturing, uh, you know, patient monitors in Denmark, where they are the pioneers in uh, patient monitoring, those days I'm talking about 90s. Uh, when I met those people in uh, Chennai, uh, during my income uh, days, uh, I asked him, sir, why you don't manufacture in India? He was telling me, if you manufacture in India, you know, that time we were taking our uh, dinner, I think, we, uh, I was introducing our paratha to him. You know, he was telling, it's the kind of paratha what I eat and what you eat is different, quality wise. Glucose it is. You can understand. We call it as a paratha, but it is in a different format. The ingredients are different. See, the medical equipment is something like it's a C. 10 equipments are coming in, for example, 10 monitors are coming out of the uh, uh, factory. 10 equipments should be the same. He says, in India it doesn't happen. Then when he's told that, you know, I didn't take it in a big way, but I remembered in 2004, it happened the same way. So on the side, wanted to have a factory uh, uh, to manufacture. They had come to LNT, Las to go in Mysore, you know, to start a... Uh, they also found that, you know, they may not get the quality what they want. So, my sincere request to uh, the, the uh, medical, uh, biomedical students and medical economy students, understand the equipment, select the equipment, get trained. Please understand, you know, uh, unless otherwise you have a, a, a learning skill or uh, that is training skill, you cannot succeed in biomedical. I'll give you a classic example. There is one more example I can tell you. There is a person called Arjun Suraj. And Mr. Arjun Suraj. See, these are all the people who come across to me. You know, they made uh, really, uh, uh, you know, created a big value in the material book In our early uh, 90s, uh, you know, we used to have a company from Switzerland uh, who makes uh, syrup pumps and uh, infusion pumps. When you see that infusion pump, you know, in our college days our project was infusion pump. When we see that infusion pump, you know, I think we bought for some those days, we bought for some 50,000 rupees those days. And uh, there is nothing is there. One LVDT uh, or one water control, one, you know, very simple uh, uh, product. But even then, that is not manufacturing. But whereas uh, Mr. Sura, he runs a company called a car medical equipment. He started, you know, syringe pump and infusion pump, and it is well known in the world. I am really surprised. I saw a customer uh, in Europe who was buying this product. So it is not that you, you know you say that you know, it cannot be manufactured in India. It's possible. You can see inside Akash Medical Equipment or not, and even if you want any appointment, even my program, this one year program, I already uh, taken up with him. Uh, he, he said he will spend a day with us. He was fine where this product can be tried, both the product can be, you know, infusion and that. So what I'm trying to tell you is, you select the uh, field, field in the sense I'm talking about both the sides, the equipment field as well as the line of 
activity, whether it is service or sales or once you select it and become a master of it. If you are able to undergo all the medical equipment, it is very well, uh, it's, it's, it's well recommended. The reason is, it is, my, it is making you much easy to select a pen. For me, I had a uh, you know, uh, inclination towards ultrasound, so I selected it. Maybe somebody else can have something different. So, uh, the, uh, you may ask, uh, you know, how the employment possibilities see. For an example, if there is a uh, anesthesia, uh, for an example, there is a company called uh, uh, one Mr. Krishna Kumar, he is manufacturing, uh, you know, uh, uh, ventilators, hand carry ventilators, uh, in ambulance and all keep it. He keeps calling me, do you have anybody who can work for us? But when I sell people, there is nobody having a ventilator experience. Whereas now, he is willing to come and take a class for a week with his ventilator. So somebody is interested in getting in a ventilator, you know, he can get, he can select that directly. So the point is, unless otherwise you know that, see, you may be, you would have studied in your engineering graduation, you would have seen the product maybe from a distance, but you would not have felt it or you would not have operated. Here what happens is, when you undergo a training program, any training program, you know, you can feel the product, you can test the product, you can uh, use the product, you can uh, apply the product. The confidence level will go up. In my experience of this 25 years, if you want a job in medical industry, first thing what you should do is, you should know about the product thoroughly and you should get trained by the product. If you are trained by the product, that company will love to take you. See, please understand, we are not asking about, you know, AT instead of training. At least you should have some like uh, 0 to 1. Hold the product. I, I remember I attended an interview, uh, I still remember in 1993, uh, I think, 91, uh, G, uh, IG time, when uh, Mr. Ravindran was there. Now he's in Phillips. Uh, he uh, uh, joined uh, from Incam to Incam to uh, uh, IG. So I still remember him. I met him. Uh, I, know, I, I attended the interview with him. Uh, in my very early days. So, I don't know, I know ultrasound, I know how that it works and I know uh, how it uh, creates image, all the stuff I know, I know the company and everything. He asked me a question, what is TBS? I still remember I laughed at him, what is TBS? Whether he is asking about TBS of, you know, which I cross every day in my life in Chennai, there is a TBS company there, whether he is asking about TB, trans but what is yes? I don't know. So I told him that according to me, TVS is two things. Sir. One is I understand there is a TVS industry in the Sudramayaka, TV Sudramayaka industry. The other is transfer channel. But scan, I don't know. See, if you are getting into that ultrasound industry, first thing is you will say, see, the language also changes. Depending on the, no, the new technology comes, the language changes. In those days it was called TVS, transfer channel scan. Most of the doctors, you know, the gynecologists say transvaginal scan. Then I, he laughed at me. He said, it is very simple, transvaginal scan. That's it. So what I'm trying to tell you is, if I am trying, after that I, I really understood I should get trained. So I went to, uh, uh, those days Dr. Suresh used to give a training program for seven days. You know, Chennai, uh, for engineers. So I understood what is vaginal flow, uh, what is endocavity flow, why, what is called DVDR, what is called DEE, how it looks like, how it works. So I got trained by the whole product. So when I go for the next interview, I got selected. I think 94 I went to G again. That is the time G before G had come. I got selected. Just the questions are only on under the product wise. It was not, not whether you will sell it in Kolapur or whether you will service in, uh, you know, daily. No questions. Only it is about the product. So I, I, I understood so many things. And I, what I'm very telling is that ultimately training. If you are undergoing a product training, then it is very good. So without a training, let me tell you honestly, uh, you can try it also without trying to attend uh, meetings and all of uh, They may take you as a training, but even then, uh, some industries taking you as a training, uh, depending on the training schedule of that company, you will get uh, exposed to that uh, product. Whereas, if you are undergoing a training program with the professionals, you know, the people who undergo uh, give a training of a particular product, then it is very good. Then you will come to know, you know, much easy. Uh, even uh, CDAC, in Trivandrum, is running a program on biomedical. You'll be surprised to know the selection is so 
vigorous, you know, hardly uh, 12 people, 13 people get selected and uh, those people straight away get appointments. You can just I mean, Google it and see, see that uh, biomedical, easy to come on, biomedical uh, engineering. So what I'm telling you is, there are institutions are there, there are, even Nilit uh, Jabu is running a course on biomedical. Uh, but only thing is, the, the idea of uh, our program is to have every product on a single platform. This is the first attempt. Definitely will pass. I'm quite sure that I will do it. We can do it. We are already planning in the perfect way. Uh, so that the whole equipment gets exposed to the student. And this which may be a fact we are totally working on placements. That is the important thing which we are working on. We are working on placements. Uh, uh, so that people will get uh, you know, more opportunities to work in the biomedical uh, equipment industry. According to me, uh, the number of employment people will, can get, you know, the number of students there are around, uh, uh, according to AACP, uh, we have a list of around 180 colleges who run environmental engineering. I mean, you take it six, you know, uh, you will, everybody can get a job. Everybody can get a job. In the Only thing is you should select, you should get trained, that is very important. If you are able to do it, nothing like it. There are jobs are available, there is absolutely none of I will never say that you don't have a job, you will have a job, only thing is you should select. Uh, right now we are having a requirement from uh, uh, Cura, uh, D Healthcare has called us and they wanted our sales people who are already trained in uh, ultrasound machines. We are having, uh, uh, there is a Delhi company who is into uh, OT equipment, they are looking for people, you know, four people in South India, we are having a requirement from Airbus Engineering. They wanted to service people you know, for the for country. All these people ultimately, if I have to send them, they should. Whoever is going there to attend the interview, that fellow should be trying. If he's not trying, they will not take. I think an important aspect is in this training. You know, there is a kind of, uh, especially for medical equipment industry, the, uh, the customer relation or the uh, uh, how to keep up your you know value in the market slightly different from other industries. The reason is you are moving with a very highly professional people. You know uh, the way how to speak, the way how to maintain the relation. You know, sometimes you should not say that if the doctor may say that the machine is not working, you say machine is working, he may get affected. So there is a separate skill required to handle these customers. So that is why we have come on with a soft skill also. Along with the training program, we should go undergo a soft skill also. Soft skill in the sense how to manage, you know, pressure, how to manage customers, you know, the product would have, you would have installed the product, uh, you know, which has come from Norway and the company is not existing or the company is taking time to spare parts, you know, to supply, how we can deal with the customer, whether the standing and what the or no. The concept is totally different in medical equipment industry. So that is why we have come out with the you know, soft skill program also. We have added uh, uh, scout skill of uh, uh, almost a quarter. Uh, we are uh, conducting uh, those to the 60 classes exclusively for, uh, you know, uh, in fact, uh, I am uh, PhD student supplier. Uh, already they are given a, a green signal for uh, conducting a class one. Mr. Sri one Dr. Srivas is coming here, going to take class on, you know, how to manage a doctor, something like that. Uh, soft skill is also very, very important in uh, uh, I still remember I have taken, a, I made a service report. Uh, that is the time Dr. Vaishadevan was there in uh, MMC. I went to him, I showed him on the table, said, you know, said there is a service report inside him. He was thrilled to see my report and me also. He asked me, you are asking service report from me, what way I am connected with the point? You are the HOD of the department, you have to tell you that you don't know if you confirm the person who is using the machine. You get the signature, then you bring it, I will sign it. See, this is a different way. So, the concept of uh, medical equipment industry is slightly you know, a different way compared to anything else. I always compare with the aeronautical engineering. See, aeronautical engineering is still in the worst case. See, because when you are studying aeronautical engineering, it is more of a maintenance only. You know, you don't design or you don't uh, manufacture, you know, in India, I'm talking about. Now it has started going as a in India, but even then. Those days, what happened? You take the uh, 
you know, you study well and uh, they will find miserable to get a job. Because they are also the training matters. Nanotech are also training matters. Biomedical is training is much easy. The, the advantage is we have plenty of institutions. Really, India is the one, India is the second country in the world where ultrasound and medical, medical equipment are very rich. Now we are very rich in medical. You can find any time. Go to any university and see a machine, same machine will be there, maybe in a government or private industry. You know, the advantage of India is, you know, we are having such a big population and for them we are having such a huge, you know, insulation of medical equipment. So, students, it is for you people to understand. No, see, I am not telling that you come out of the course and you start writing. No. You start doing it in second year. You tell your department, you tell your HOD, you tell your professor, sir, we would like to undergo a training program. Get connected with the local corporate hospital or a hospital. Get that machine. You know, go there, see the machine, each and what is happening in OT, what is happening in ICU, what is happening in CC, what is happening in radiology, what is the scanning room. You know, get to know each and every equipment. You know, you start learning about the equipment. That gives you a much confidence. Go to second year, third year. So fourth year when you come, you can make up your mind. Preferably third year when you undergo, you can select a field and you can do a project on that also. Fourth year. I will, the one which I am talking about, a cosmetical equipment. Arjun Suraj, uh, his engineering project was uh, infusion pump. Maybe a part of infusion pump, if I remember. You know, he could be able to make a product. See, and the biggest advantage, this is why in India, is most of the medical equipment, uh, uh, student projects, you know, it doesn't get completed or it doesn't get into market for manufacturing. I have, I have yet to see that. Yeah. Sorry to uh, tell you. I have yet to see a product, you know, somebody made a product and it is in a production. How it is happening in other countries? You know, when they do a project, it becomes a product. So, uh, dear students, uh, 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 I, I, if you have any questions on medical equipment, if you have, if you want any questions on you know how to get uh, this kind of training program, all the stuff, so you can be in touch with me. Uh, my name is Niranjan, my email ID is niranjan at the rate ultrasoundindia.com N-I-R-A-N-J-A-N at the rate U-L-T-R-A-S-O-U-N-D.com Or you can call me at any time, you are welcome to call me at any time, 984706968. I repeat, 984706968. I sit in Calicut, it's a part of Kerala. You can call me at any time, we will definitely help you. And uh, we have already registered uh, close to uh, uh, 37 students of biomedical engineering in North Kerala as well as in Tamil Nadu uh, for undergoing this one year uh, apprenticeship program where we will train students in each and every product and uh, we want to see to that they get placement before one year. That is also our uh, things are happening and ultimately my idea of starting a you know, long time dream of starting a biomedical uh, academy where we will have all the equipment inside. I am talking to the government also to give us space and keep all the missionaries by the one uh, coordination company. They, they are, there are a few companies that come forward to put a machine and for demonstration purpose for uh, you know, training purpose. Uh, my dream is to have a, a, a huge environmental economy where people can handle work program depending on the requirement of placement. Depending on the, where the placement is available, they can be trained immediately and they can go for a job. You know? And uh, we can slowly think of uh, you know, developing environmental equipment, uh, services, something like that, which we have started already in Microsoft. And we would like to have maybe a degree for maybe a, sorry, a research labs for every each and every field. Uh, you know, I'll give you a classic example. The ultrasound, there is a uh, ultrasound, ultrasound uh, tomography is there where the you know, breast can be done. Uh, those machines are very costly, 1.3 crore, 1.5 crore. Pune may just look at what Siemens product, there is around 1.9 crores. I don't find, I don't know the big, what is the big technology in that. Uh, you have a machine, you have a probe, it is a matter of how good you move the probe on the body. You know. so these are all really available. Unless otherwise somebody takes the interest, they can definitely design. So I wanted to ultimately make a secret that the India, India has enough uh, research labs for medical equipment. That is another thing for me. So once you make academy, automatically the research lab will happen. And then 
maybe the research lab can be converted into a university, environmental university. Let's hope when we saw that, you know, a lot of new universities are coming up in India. Maybe a environmental university also we are expecting. Before I leave this world, I would like to see a environmental university in India. So that, you know, we ourselves, somebody says that it is my product. Recently, I remember uh, when I was in Perth, you know, I was uh, taking a, a mangoes, you know, being a vegetarian. When I bought the mangoes in a uh, supermarket, I was, I was eating it. You know. I was so proud that these vegetables are made by you know, our trade union. And it sold in a very big price, very big But even then, you know, fruits. Uh, you know, we are able to uh, buy it in Australia. When we made it, if I remember right, we made somewhere in the ground. Uh, jam, jam or somewhere, if I remember right. You know. So you can have something like that, you know, a medical product. See, I don't, I'm not telling that there is no product that's made in India. You know. It's not made in a big way. Maybe cables they are very good. You know, Indian cables are very good, but even now China is taking over. Maybe the government of India is thinking of you know biomedical separate uh, council. Uh, you know, like we have a pharmacy council, we should have a biomedical council where the equipment, you know, where the uh, like FDA we also come out with some rules and regulations. We have the ERP with their electronics uh, testing laboratory, they come out with some ideas. Uh, uh, get good medical equipment, you know, quality medical equipment in India, right? Thank you very much. And we will see some more slides. I left out some a few slides here. You can just go to it. See, see this. Uh, 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 we have. Uh, 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 if you are seeing see this employer uh, training, the uh, training. Why training is so important? You know, something else is also so when you are undergoing a training program you will come to know about the performance record you know uh, for an example uh, a bamboo bar, uh, apple bag how to press now uh, you will come to know by using it you know, these are the things which is very important you go to a machine you don't know how to handle the uh, ultrasound probe you know customer will think that this fellow will spoil the probe even the customer the equipment handling also is very very important in, uh, uh, part of the training so there are a lot of things are there. Uh, untrained people will not get any, uh, uh, you know, it become quite difficult. There will be a law, you know, uh, uh, ultimately somebody will spoil the equipment, you know, when the productivity has gone down, we are in, in become inefficient. You know, when you do mistakes, uh, when that is also a lot of expenses will come, bringing the machine, taking the machine, you know, servicing it. All these companies are undergoing this process unless it provides you know, ultimately the customer also will be lost. What customer will think, see, you buy, he buys a product of Siemens or G, GPS product and the user, the fellow doesn't get give proper service in here. What happens, next time he will not come to them, he will go to somebody else, he will go to Samsung or somebody else. So, unless the right, you want to keep a good relation with the customer, then, you know, the trying the people is very, very important. Even the industry knows, unless the right, we are trying the people only, they can do wonders. So, uh, the government is also thinking in the national skill development, you may have come across NSDC is there. We are also working out some projects. This year we will launch a uh, you know, uh, healthcare uh, skill program. We are working on it, but still we are able to get the syllabus, but even then we want to launch it. We have uh, there, uh, you can see that NSDC mission is also, uh, mission is, says very clearly that for each and every guy, more than the curriculum, they should know about the, you know, uh, uh, develop their own skills on with the industry involvement. And uh, it is more than anything else, you know, you become a market maker, you know, you get well trained, you can create a market, say like we have created a market for a refurbishment market for the ultrasound industry. Uh, the, the, so, the lot of training is going to happen, uh, there is additional skill, uh, uh, skill development program is also going on in India, in uh, Kerala, it is ASAP, you can see the ASAP site also, how the skill is being done. Whatever is there connected with the medical equipment that is also and another thing is healthcare skills development. This is one of the uh, prime uh, thing now what is happening at HSSC. That also you can see it. Uh, there you can see biomedical technician course is already being floated, but syllabus is yet to come out. Once the syllabus comes out, we will also be registered with them. They are also having a very clear uh, objective to train all the people because ultimately we are having a maximum manpower we can find so that we can show to the world how good an Indian can uh, uh, make, you know. Uh, good uh, uh, supply or uh, share or support healthcare, good healthcare. This is the one thing which we are already we have adapted, NATS, National Emergency Training Program, which we are going to start in uh, July uh, 2016. Uh, 
Uh, we already made the schedule. Uh, if you are interested, you can ask me, uh, call me for the, uh, the schedule. You can share it. I can register it with the government as well as with us. And uh, we will definitely will, uh, will assure you, we will try our level best to do a campus interview and see that you get placement before a year. Uh, you can, uh, the, the eligibility of the NATS registration is you would have completed your course. It can be a diploma or degree or anything. Even uh, you should not have undergone any training program outside other than your uh, place and it's going to be for one year and it will be treated as uh, you know, PAKA training government association, government organization will treat you, will not give, there is no need for a training program, they will do it as on your uh, uh, base of the certificate. You will get a government certificate and uh, they, are, they are requesting people who have completed in uh, 2016, 15 and 14 to get registered. Uh, more than that, they see that it is a no. It is a more they are already would have experience, so government is not willing to support them. Uh, they get a monthly stipend also for a degree holder, for a diploma holder. They get for a graduate uh, apprentice, he gets uh, four thousand nine hundred fifty for is close to five thousand rupees, and uh, technically a diploma holder they get three thousand five hundred rupees. Even a, a, a vocational group fellow also gets a stipend for this. This is going to be per month, and uh, average government is spending sixty thousand rupees per year for a degree holder to get. Skip to get trying. So thank you very much. Let's be in touch. And uh, let's be in touch. You can just hear uh, one of our uh, uh, feedback of our apprentice. Providing um, a, a wonderful 
atmosphere to work, a wonderful uh, feeling to, towards the company and uh, also uh, extracting the best always out in us. That is an important thing I should say. He always encourages us. So, um, and also I really wish to thank uh, the Kerala State Board, uh, Board of Apprenticeship too, uh, for providing the young aspirants uh, the wonderful doors of opportunities. Thank you so much. I joined this company as an apprentice training under the board of apprenticeship by the government. I got into the marketing department of the company, taking care of all the marketing activities, and I was in charge of the social media marketing. Trust me, I was completely blind about social media, as according to me, social media keeps growing in every second. But this company always encourages people and I was able to get into the social media marketing and uh, take care of all social medias, keep interacted with the target customers and I was able to bring these to the company for this business. This is the of India always supports employees and encourages them for the performance. I was lucky enough to get into the Malaysian trip provided by the company and I enjoyed it really well. I want to thank the Board of Apprenticeship for giving me this opportunity to work in this wonderful company. I also want to thank our managing director, Mr. Nirajan Mr. Kumar, for being mentoring us to get into higher levels. He was always there for any kind of support we need for the growth of the organization. And I want to thank all my team members who gave me immense support.